Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we'll be discussing the sacraments of the Catholic Church, and today we're going over baptism. We'll talk about the kinds of things that can make a baptism invalid, and there's a few distinctions here, but I'll just start off with the three big ones that always make baptism invalid, no matter what. Number one, trying to baptize someone in the name of anything but the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit or Holy Ghost. Number two, trying to baptize someone with anything other than water. Number three, going through the motions of baptizing someone, but not intending to baptize them, like joking around, that sort of thing. Any one of these three things always makes the baptism invalid, no matter what. That's the easy part, so now for something a little tougher. Number four. Generally, a priest is required to perform the baptism. However, unlike the first three, there are exceptions to this. As I said in the last video, if there's a serious need and it's impossible to get hold of a priest, any other person can baptize, provided that they have the use of reason, know how to baptize, and intend to do what the Catholic Church does. However, if you could have got hold of a priest and just didn't because you thought you could do the baptism better, then sorry, not allowed. Number five. The water is supposed to be poured over the head. You're not supposed to apply it through sprinkling or dipping the head into the water. However, if you do apply it that way, the baptism is still valid, it's just that you broke the church's law by doing it this way, and that's a sin. Number six, you're supposed to pour the water over the person's head. If for some reason you can't reach their head, like it's stuck in a honey pot or something, you can pour it over any other part of them instead, but in those instances, Baptism should only be given conditionally. That means that you say something like, if it's acceptable to baptize you in this way, then I baptize you in the name of, etc. If a person has been baptized that way, however, it's best for them to receive another conditional baptism once they've got their head out of the honeypot, just in case the baptism was invalid. In fact, whether or not the baptism of this kind is valid seems to be largely unknown, so if the baptizer can reach your head, that's the way to go. If you're ever unsure whether you've been baptized, you can ask for a conditional baptism from a priest, and he can baptize you under terms like, if you haven't been baptized already, then I baptize you in the name, etc. Those seem to be the only situations in which a baptism would be invalid. Next time, aside from water baptism, are there any other kinds of baptism? What are they? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.